Oh, look at that. Wow. This is so good. I could do this every day. Like, I really can. What's good everyone? This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here coming at you from freezing snow in Kyoto, Japan. It's really, really cold right now. It's like negative one Celsius, 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And yeah, this morning what I want to do is I want to take you to eat a traditional Japanese breakfast. Here in Japan, it's a little different from anywhere else in the world. Breakfast is either from a convenience store or from one of the local uh, like Japanese diner chains. I've already done one. I've done the convenience store route. So I'm going to go today to Tsukiya. And this place has over 2,000 locations in Japan and they're famous for the gudan, which is basically like a, a beef bowl. So it's beef, rice, onions, and it looks amazing, really filling. The regular size bowl costs 350 yen, which is $3.50. And there's no tipping, so it's really, really cheap. It's really, really quick. And then after we eat, I'm gonna take you all the way up there to the Kyoto Tower, the tallest structure in Kyoto. They have an observation deck at the 100 meter mark. So let's go inside and eat a delicious beef ball. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Okay, so the way it works here at Sukiya is that they have tables and they also have a counter area. I'm sitting at the table because it's way more private, a lot easier for me to film. There's like a few reasons why people love this place. It's because they use like delicious ingredients, not too fatty, not too fatty beef. Their vegetables and rice are like top notch quality. And then they have multiple different sizes. They have the mini, they have the nami, which is medium, which is the most popular. They have the chumui, which is medium, but a little bigger. It's like 1.5 times the amount of meat and slightly less rice. They have the omori, which is large. They have the tukumori, which is extra large. And they have the mega, which is XX large, which is three times the meat and extra rice. I mean, that is a huge bowl. And what I'm going with is the pork miso and curry soup. So it comes with the, you know, the bowl, beef, rice, onions. It comes with a raw egg on the side. So you just don't that on top so it also comes with a curry soup look at all those balls very cheap and very fast i got in here at 8 45 let's see how long it takes me to eat and get out so here we have it nice beef bowl got the rice the beef all oh, looks so juicy and tender got the onions and we have the egg right here gotta crack it and then we have like that miso curry soup mm, looks phenomenal okay guys so this is how we're gonna do it we're gonna first Crack the egg. They give you this so you can crack it here, right? But I'm gonna crack it and put it straight in. So. Nice. And then, what you do is you go like this and you mix it up. Mmm. They love raw eggs with the rice. I mean, it looks amazing. It tastes really good. Oh, this is so amazing. Mmm. Beef. Nice, juicy. Mix it in there. You should definitely learn how to use chopsticks before coming to Japan. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow. The beef is so juicy. Mmm. Mix the egg. Mmm. So yummy. Mmm. Very filling as well. I mean, obviously, a lot of. A lot of rice. And this rice is like sticky rice. Let me show you. Alright, there. Look at that. Mmm, nice beef. This beef is phenomenal. Just gotta mix it together with the rice though. As you can see, it's like, it's yolky, rice. What I'm gonna do is gonna keep mixing. Gotta try to mix it as much as possible. Mmm. Oh yeah. The only problem is that they put a lot of rice. And it's really, really like I think it's like 70% is rice. I'm not really a huge fan of eating raw eggs like this. You can definitely do it. Oh look at that! Wow. This is so good. I could do this every day. Like I really can. I'm like filling up on rice, huh? What I highly recommend is bring some soy sauce. And then you're gonna mix it. So we got soy, we got egg, we got some beef, onions. Mm. I love the soy mix. 
Oh wow. So next up we're gonna try this curry miso soup. Oh man, it has some pork, onions, some herbs. Mmm. Oh, this is great. Mmm. Oh yeah. That broth is so fantastic. Mmm. Very nice. Mmm, incredible. Look at all that. We have like a radish in here. Mmm. Pork is nice and chewy, nice and fatty. Mmm. Oh, man. It's like a, it's like the ultimate miso soup. It's really, really good. It's a really big miso soup. It's like a miso soup on steroids with the amount of things that are in here. And once you finish all the ingredients, then you just slurp on it. Mm. I decided I had to have this combo because it's so cold outside and I wanted to warm up. Mm. So I'm just gonna finish the rice bowl and get really full. Cool. With the cold outside, you gotta be full because if not, you're gonna be really hungry and that's not good in the cold. This is an incredible beef bowl. The soy sauce really changed the flavor. Mm. I love how the sticky rice really absorbs the egg and the soy sauce. Mm, just like bathed in it. All right. Last bite. Mm. Wow, there's so much rice in here. Done. Time is it? We've been in here 20 minutes. Ordered, eight, and I'm gonna pay. What's the total? The total is 550 yen, that's five US dollars for this monster of a breakfast. All right, that was a really, really filling breakfast. Huge, delicious bowl. I mean, it was delicious, it really was. Yummy, yummy rice, really sticky, with the egg drilled through. The best part was when I poured the soy sauce but I also love the soup. The soup is really nice, especially for this weather. It's really cold outside. And now we're gonna go over here and go up to Kyoto Tower, the tallest tower in Kyoto. They have an observation deck. Let's go over there. Before we go up to the tower, I need a coffee. So I'm here at one of the 2.4 million vending machines here in Japan, and I'm gonna go with a cold coffee. I love this brand, The Boss. And the Boss Black is like the strongest one. I've tried like five or six different ones already. And I get always the cold one. Even though it's cold, I like cold coffee. I don't like it when it's boiling hot. Because these, when they come out, they're like boiling hot. So let me get this one right here. Black Boss. 100 yen. Right there. Black Boss. It's got to post up really fast. Open this coffee. A triple shot. Really good, really strong. Woo! Get energized. Here we go. Kyoto Tower observation deck opens at 9 a.m., closes at 9 p.m., last admission is at 8.40 p.m. Here we go. <sighs> observation ticket. I gotta take this off and I'm freaking too hot. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Hey, how you doing? How much is it? 770 for one adult. Okay. The cost to enter the observation deck is 770, so that's like seven dollars and seventy cents. High school students 620, elementary school 520, preschool three years older over 150, people with disabilities 350. So there you go. Those are all the prices. And here we go. Observation deck is right. Hello, konnichiwa. Thank you, thank you. Namaste, Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.
Once we got to the 11th floor, we had to change to this elevator. And as you can see, here we are. We're going up 65, 70, all the way to 100. Wow, it is snowing right now. Look, you can see the snow. Incredible. This observation looks very nice. It's small. It goes in a full circle. Here you have like an interactive map. So we can go here, let's see what's this. Oh, it's a temple, okay, what's that? It's an aquarium, what's that? Cool. And do they have a language? Can I change it? No, I don't see the language change, but <laughs> it's fine. They also have some binoculars right here, Nikon. So we do this. Oh, wow. Oh, you can see really far with this. Man, the snow's coming down. <laughs> And they have these right here, some big boys. Whoa. Wow. This is awesome. I love observation decks. I visited the one in Tokyo, the Tokyo Sky Tree, and that's obviously 350 meters high, so that's like three times the height of this. But this is the tallest structure in Kyoto, so it gives you a vantage point over the entire city. It's like a valley in between these mountains, right? So you can see mountains over there, mountains over there, lots of low rises. You can see the trains coming, the bullet trains coming right there. Incredible. And that's Kyoto Station. I love that this is such a small observation deck. At the same time, you get to see everything that is Kyoto. And right here, as you can see right here, it'll tell you what you see in front of you. So Moyen Temple, National Museum, 1.4 kilometers. So if you look straight that way, you see it. I see. Horikul Shrine, oh wow, there I see it. Kiyome Temple, wow, you see a huge boot over there. The snow is starting to go away, the sun's coming out, and wow, if you look really far in the distance in the mountains, you see that the mountains are full of snow, they're like completely white, and yeah, this kid's having a lot of fun here. <laughs> Everybody's using the binoculars and using these uh, and using these interactive maps to see where everything is. And per personally, I love observation decks. I like to go to them everywhere I go in the world. Tokyo Sky Tree was amazing. This is also amazing, though. It's different. It's not as high, but you definitely you definitely will enjoy it. Come here with your family, see it, and yeah. Let me just let me enjoy this. Oh wow. I can't believe how many buildings there are here. It just never ends. It's like a sea of buildings. This takes like something like half an hour to see it. Get some photos, get some video, just enjoy it. Come here with your family or come here alone like I did. Yeah, and definitely add this to the top of your bucket list for things to do in Kyoto. It's a must visit. Tallest structure, highest point in the city. And yeah, if you like going up to observation decks like I do, I did the Tokyo Sky Tree, which is amazing, four times higher than this, but this is the only one here, so I had to do it. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next food and travel adventure in Japan. Peace.